Hello, container security world. My name is Paul Romanik. I'm a solution architect here at Aqua Security. I want to take a few moments of your time to show you a product called Dynamic Threat Analysis, also referred to as DTA for short. DTA gives us the ability to detonate an image in an actual sandbox and start analyzing the behaviors and findings. So in this example, this image here is actually non-compliant, but it is not non-compliant based off of my static scan. So if you're using Aqua or any of the other enterprise solutions today, most likely they would have deemed this artifact clean and proceeded to allow you to build an application for it didn't contain any vulnerabilities. But using dynamic threat analysis, we actually discover a new attack service. So detonating this image and actually analyzing the behaviors and findings using the MITRE attack framework, we start to see there's a little bit more going behind the scenes. We detected some malware. We detected a cryptocurrency miner. We had a showdown search. We had a payload drop. We had a script dropped at runtime. All this additional information can be found on the right-hand side. And we even had an attempt to change some metadata. So all of this is probably behaviors and findings that I wouldn't deem acceptable, nor would I want my team actually building an application on it. And if we actually scroll down, we can actually get the network calls coming in and out of this image. So in this example, we had calls to Japan, and even Sweden. So in this example, you can see using dynamic threat analysis, I was actually able to discover a new attack surface. And I was able to use this to actually validate if an application should be built on this image or not. I wanted to thank you for your time and hopefully you join us for another session.